Hey guys, the last couple of weeks we have been learning about God's people, the Jews or Israelites, and how they um, had been given his law and promises. And um, he promised that they would have a blessed life if they obeyed his instructions. He also told them if they chose to disobey his word that they would be punished. So God is perfect in all of his ways and he must punish sin. Um, over and over, God's people disobeyed his instructions. We're kind of like that sometimes too, aren't we? Well, God was patient and he sent many prophets to warn them to repent um, or to turn away from their sin and to be forgiven so that they would not have to face his punishment. But God's people were stubborn um, and they continued to disobey by worshiping idols and acting very wicked. Well, God waited patiently for his people to repent so he could forgive them, but they did not. Um, he kept his promise to punish them for their disobedience. Um, he allowed the Babylonians to destroy Jerusalem and take many of the Jews back to live in Babylon. Um, the, God's people lived there as prisoners for 70 years. So we learned that several weeks ago. Um, then we learned about how God um, changed um, the king of Bab Babylon, King Cyrus's heart, and allowed God's people to return to their own land to live and rebuild the temple. Um, 50,000 Jewish people returned to Jerusalem and they began to rebuild the temple. I remember they did that with the money that um, King Cyrus also had them um, send with them because God prompted him to do that. So God saved his people who were prisoners of Babylon and he would one day send Jesus to restore his people um, who are prisoners of sin, that's us. Um, when enemies of the Jewish people heard that they had returned to their land and began to rebuilding, um, they began to cause trouble. And that frightened God's people and the work was hard. And so they stopped rebuilding the temple. So we learned about this last week. Um, many years passed. Uh, they had forgotten God's promises to his people. And instead of trusting him to fight their enemies and give them the strength to rebuild the temple, uh, they just quit. Um, they believed it was just too hard to rebuild the temple and focused on uh, building their own homes and stuff like that to live in instead. But remember, um, God sent his prophet Haggai and Zechariah to encourage them by reminding them that the Lord was with them. Um, and God's people got back to work building the temple. So last week we kind of learned about um, encouraging people with messages and that kind of thing. And we had a message, um, secret message encouragement of encouragement in our video. So today we're going to learn about the visions or dreams that God sent to Zechariah um, that were messages for him to share with God's people. Um, Zechariah saw eight different visions and each one was a different message about God and something um, that was going to happen. And just like all visions and dreams, sometimes they're a little strange. Um, so in the first vision, Zechariah saw a man riding on a red horse um, and behind him were other horses and they had been patrolling the earth, like, you know, watching the earth and everything was calm and quiet. But soon the Lord would punish his enemies uh, the Lord's house would be rebuilt and his cities would be blessed again. In the second vision, Zechariah saw four horns. Um, these stood for Israel's enemies. Uh, he also saw four craftsmen um, who would defeat those enemies. Next, in the third one, Zechariah saw a man who was going to measure out Jerusalem. Um, but the city could not be measured because it was too big for walls. Instead, the Lord would be a wall of fire around it. He would protect um, his great city. The fourth vision showed angels taking dirty clothes off of Joshua and giving him a clean robe. And that was showing Israel's need to be cleansed and showing the forgiveness of sins. In the fifth vision, uh, Zechariah saw a gold, a solid gold lampstand, um, which showed how all the Lord's plans would happen because of his spirit. Then Zechariah saw a flying scroll, um, which was a curse on everyone who disobeyed God. And in the seventh vision, a woman sat inside a basket. Uh, she represented the wickedness of those who worship false gods. Um, she was lifted up and taken back to Babylon. That's where they were in captivity. Um, in the eighth vision, Zechariah saw four chariots. Um, like the horses of the first vision, they would patrol the earth. 
uh, God told Zechariah to collect silver and gold from the people. He said, use the gold and silver to make crowns and place them on the head of Joshua, the high priest. Uh, Joshua's crowns meant that a special king was coming to bring peace for everyone. Um, he said, look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. That's what Zechariah said. And we learned about this back um, for Palm Sunday. Uh, Jesus fulfilled that prophecy. He rode into Jerusalem uh, riding on a donkey. I remember they said, Hosanna, which means save us. Uh, God was going to help his people and give them a different kind of king, not just an earthly king like they were expecting, but a king who would save us all. And because Zechariah's prophecy came true in Jesus, uh, we can have hope and forgiveness of sins uh, when we trust in Jesus as our Savior. So I would love for you to look up um, with your parents the story of Zechariah and the um, eight um, prophecies, the eight visions. And um, if you will um, text me or private message me um, the scripture reference for those eight visions, then I will put you into a drawing for um, a gift card. Uh, this week's gift card winner was Cruz. He sent, um, I had several send um, the private message, the secret message that was in last week's video, and um, he was the name I drew. So congratulations, Cruz. Have a good week. <laughs>